Welcome everyone, we are Cats in Camo, here today with a Colt 1911. Yes, we're doing another 1911 just to spite Allie. Mm. So, this is the Colt Competition. Well, that's what it's called. <laughs> and this is for, chambered in 45 ACP, holds 8 rounds, it comes in at 36 ounces. The barrel length of this gun comes in at 5 inches even, bringing the total length to 8.5 inches. The width of this gun is 1.25 inches and the height comes out to 5.5 inches. Big gun. It's a big gun, but it shoots a big cartridge so it kind of has to be. <laughs> well, let's take a closer look at this gun and see what little interesting treats we can find out about it. I'm going to check for clear. This is always so hard with 1911s. Okay, yep, clear. So, um, it's like your standard 1911, except it has a blue frame. Uh, I'm guessing once again you can detach or retach it. Hmm. Magazine release button. No. Uh oh. Is that just me? Maybe. Feels a little sticky. It could just be me, I've got tiny hands, but I'm having trouble with this. I'm having a lot of trouble with that. I don't know if, again, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm holding it wrong, but, so again, we got the safety over here. Works just fine. Works really nice, actually. And let's look at it on point. These have glowing green sights. That's cool. And it with the there's an orange circle, um, right here. And obviously, you guys aren't gonna be able to see that, but it's around the green, which makes it very easy to follow it in between the two green ones. So, um, if my research is correct. Uh, Colt was actually the very first brand to release the 1911, in 1911, obviously. Um, so, that's interesting. I mean, I'm wondering kind of how the other companies got their hands on it so quickly. Um, and, again, I'm kind of curious why it's such a popular frame, but, again, I'm new to guns. I don't know why people like certain guns and, um, why they favor certain frames, but... 45 caliber, we're going to be shooting it, um, but first we're going to let Dan take this apart and put it back together. Here we go. So, first things first, magazine release. Take the magazine out, set it aside. With, as with all 1911s, when you take it apart, you have to have the hammer back in order to move the slide, so we're going to combine putting the hammer back with our show clear. Nothing up my sleeve. Now that the hammer's back, we have to take this out. Nice thing about the Colt, similar to Sig Sauer and a couple other brands, it's not a full length guide rod, so you can push this down by hand instead of using the wrench that so many 1911s need. So we're gonna turn that. Again, make sure you uh, are holding on to this. One of the things that is unique with this Colt competition model is it is a double capture spring. Doesn't look like much from right now. Watch. Ta-da! There are two, two springs in here. Smaller one that fits inside the larger one. And they're fine to leave like this, but when you go and put it back together, well, we'll get to that. How about we take it apart first? Double capture springs. Now that the tension's off, you're gonna slide that back, line up the small notch with the end of the magazine release. Ta -da. So it's right there. Push the tab from the other side so this pops forwards. Take it out. Set it down. Now the slide can come forwards. Here's your steel frame and grips. Now remember I said it was a small guide rod. It's not full length so I just kind of caught it in my palm. Little one. And then we're going to turn the bushing all the way to the other side so that it can come out. Set it down. Flip the keeper forwards. That comes up. Ta 
Ta-da. There you go. There's your Colt competition disassembled. We're going to put it back together. Turn the slide so it's upside down. Barrel goes in through the muzzle. All the way forwards. Turn it. All right. Set this on. This little short thing is going to move around a lot. Make sure that's resting on the barrel and this is on the sides of the slide, like so. We're going to turn this upside down. Remember, that's going to fall down eventually. So you're going to make sure when you put this on, put it on the rails, slide it forwards. Push that up and make sure it goes forwards enough. Now, I'm going to bring this back so that it lines up, so it's clean, good hole. I'm going to put the mag release lever, just put it through. Finish lining it up. Now, one of the things with this Colt is that this, there's a, this is a spring-loaded detent, and it's supposed to hold that in place, but when you push this in, you have to make sure it goes in clean. When this was brand new, it only pushed partway in, and then it would catch. And it is horrifyingly difficult to get that in once it's caught. You have to run a little screwdriver, pin that back, and again, profanity is involved. That went in clean, run it forwards, turn it. Now, when you go to put this in, remember I said it was two springs? The easiest way to do this is to take the smaller one on first. Did you hear the little ping as it lined up? The guide rod is inside that now. That makes this part easy. Take the second spring and, and put it on. And then slide the whole thing in, like so. Push this down, turn it and catch it. Push the thing down again, ta-da. And, magazine, the hammer. And there's your Colt competition. <laughs> All right, Allie, are you ready for this? No. You're chambered, safety is on, and I'm going out of the way. <laughs>